What's up guys? Welcome back to Cheatham Street Relics. I'm going to do a quick update video uh, for spring of 2023 uh, on the 88 Ranger GT. Uh, go back through my videos. I've got several videos on this truck uh, over the last few years. Uh, just do a quick walk around of it and I'll tell you a little bit about it for those of you that are new to the channel. So this is a 1988 Ford Ranger GT. A lot of people didn't even know they made them, didn't even know they existed. So in 1988, Ford produced and sold, it's an oddball number, so let me get it, let me get it right, 3,983, 3,983 of these Ford Ranger GTs were, were produced and sold in 1988. So, so right under 4,000. So fairly uh, low production number truck. They are kind of hard to find. You do They, they pop up uh, here and there around the country. But, uh, you know, 4,000 trucks made. And uh, I'll do another video on, I've got an 89 Ranger GT as well. There's videos posted of it. It's uh, way lower production number than this. We'll talk about it uh, in another video. And I got a Do 94 Dodge Ram, which was the first year of that body style. I'm gonna get another video of it, and then my 03 Park Avenue. So we got other videos coming, but this is on the, the 88 GT. It's a sort of an update video. I hadn't posted one on it in a while. I pulled it out yesterday and, and washed it up. The truck's 35 years old, and uh, it's original. Uh, as far as I know, it's original, original paint. This is just washing it. It will take a little wax and will shine up a little bit, but you can see it's still got a little bit of its a little bit of gloss to it uh the truck is very straight rust free this is a uh a southern truck it does have a little surface rust on the on the bedside there where the uh of course the white paint on on these were notorious for chipping and peeling off but uh and then it's got this uh i guess it was like a dealer package the stripe kit they put on it and which obviously over the years it's kind of hardened and, and uh, I really need to get that taken off of there. But that's the uh, that was a dealer stripe package that they put on them. We'll walk around of it. Uh, I haven't done a lot to this truck. I mean, engine wise and mechanically, it's, it still has the stock. 2.9 liter v6 engine it is a uh, five-speed manual transmission this one is um, i did add the uh, 17 inch centerline wheels these come off of a, a ford mustang i bought them off a guy several years ago come off a ford mustang so i did put those on her this truck came out factory with a 14 inch what i call the, the bullet hole wheels and I did keep, I had two sets of, of course, one on each truck. I kept one set of those. So uh, and then I added the, uh, I got the tail light blackout covers. That little GT badge, that little GT badging, I put that on there. That, that is not original to the truck. It didn't have any GT badging on it. The only uh, markings it had on it, that designated it as a GT, was on the body cladding below the, passenger side and driver side door where you see it says Ranger GT debossed into the kit I added those wheels the, the tail light covers the uh, headlight blackout covers and then the uh, bug bug shield or rock shield whatever you want to call it and of course I had the little custom license plate made for it and added the uh, Ranger GT banner on top of the windshield I think that's really it. I think that's all I've done to it. I mean, I could put this thing back to stock uh, specs pretty much uh, in about 30 minutes or less. I'll show you a little bit on the interior. The interior in this truck is, again, it's stock. I did add a uh, center console. Did not have a center console in it, but I had a 88-89 Ford Bronco II that I had purchased. And it had this console in it, which matched perfectly the interior of the truck. So 
I put that little console in there. And these little old trucks are so tight in here. The interior on this truck is really in good condition considering the year. Like I said, it's 35 years old this year. But the dash, if you can see, has a couple minor cracks in it. Uh, and it is it is discolored. This has kind of got the tan or, or, or camel uh, interior in it. The Rangers had the, the GTs had these uh, did have these special seats. You can see the seat bolster on this one is really really bad condition, and this side the side of it there. But uh, it had the lumbar seats, and then it had the uh, under your knees here bolster is adjustable up and down. The door cards are in good condition, other than other than just a little dirty where people hung their arm up on the window and. And down here, I mean, that could probably be cleaned off some. I just never, it, it's more pronounced probably in the camera than it is for me just looking at it. But uh, go around and look at the other side. The original carpet in this truck is actually in pretty good condition. Um, passenger side seat is really nice. Obviously, most of them are. Uh, passenger side seat's in really good condition. There you can see just a small crack there on a the dash pad. A little one there. But overall, this truck also has the uh, factory AM FM radio. No cassette, no CD. I am planning on putting a CD player in here, which I know at this point I'm kind of old school, so even CDs are probably outdated now. But I am going to put me a CD player in here. Uh, I will keep that factory head unit, though, just to have it. Uh, I don't ever plan on selling this truck, but I want to keep that head unit. And then passenger side door card, again, is in very good condition. This little arm pull here, armrest is a little bit loose right there. I just never have. Nobody rides over here very often, so never have messed with it. I don't know if you can really see the carpet in there, but it's pretty dark in here. But the carpet really is in really good condition. See, that is the five-speed manual transmission. Truck runs out and drives great. Shifts good. I have had uh, I have had some. Of course, we do. I do the maintenance on it, oil change and stuff like that. And I have had uh, have done some tune up work on it over the last few years. Uh, plugs, wires, all that stuff. I feel like I probably got videos telling what all what all's been done to it. But uh, as you see, it's got it doesn't have the sliding back glass. It's got a solid back glass. You just have the you just have the cab light back then. It's not a third brake light. It's just a uh, dome light for your bed. This truck does have also has manual windows, no power windows. It's not. Uh, it's very basic, basically. It's not uh, not loaded up like some of the newer trucks would be. Well, this truck was bought new in 1988 in McKenzie, Tennessee, at a Ford dealership in McKenzie, Tennessee. I believe it was time called Tri-County Tri County Motor Company. And uh, so bought new there. And that's actually, funny thing, McKenzie, Tennessee, uh, where this was bought new, is actually only about 25, 30 miles from here. Uh, I bought the truck from an uh, older guy that lived up in Middle Tennessee, uh, the other side of Waverly, Tennessee. He was in. He lived in like a campground. Uh, Eagle Bay, Eagle Bay Marina, Eagle Bay. I think. I think's what it was called. But I had a good friend of mine uh, who worked in New Johnsonville at the Dupont factory, and uh, he 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 called or texted me one day or something. I can't remember one of the two. But uh, anyway, he called or texted and said, uh, he said, "Hey, there's a." There's a lady up here where I work that's driving one of those little trucks like you like. Of course, everybody that knows me knows I, I have a soft spot for these Ranger GTs, always have. And that goes back to when I was in high school when a good friend of mine had a beautiful, beautiful red 88. Of course, back then I didn't know I didn't know what they were or anything about them or the rarity of them or nothing. I just knew it was a beautiful truck. Uh, I was fortunate enough he let me drive it quite a bit. And... Uh, but anyway, my buddy tells me, he says, hey, this, there's a lady here where I work. She's got she's driving one of these trucks that you like. And so 
I tell him, well, I said, send me a picture of it. Now, a lot of people see these old Rangers that might have like an aftermarket body kit on it or something. And uh, they, they assume it's a, a GT. I've had people call me and say, hey, I spotted one. And it wouldn't be. It'd just be a Ranger with a body kit on it. Uh, aftermarket kit. But uh, so he sends me a picture of it. And I'm like, well, yeah, that's that really looks to be uh, legit. So pulled some strings and, and, and found out, got the contact information. And uh, I think I actually called the, called the gentleman and uh, asked him, would he be interested in selling the truck? And, uh, and you know, he said, yeah, I guess I would. I would consider selling it. Hadn't thought about it. And like I said, guys, it wasn't, it wasn't for sale. His, uh, this lady that was driving it was the sister of this guy that owned it. And uh, she was driving it back and forth to work as a daily driver for her. So I knew where he lived versus where she worked. I knew how far it was and the roads and everything. So I knew right off the bat that, you know, it had to be a, a decent run of a little truck because it was a little bit of a, a little bit of a, a trek from where they lived to where she worked at. So, uh, so I asked the I asked the old guy. I said, "Well, what what do you think he would have to have out of it?" And uh, he he pulls three thousand dollars just right out of right out of thin air. It just comes up with that number. And uh, I said, "Well," I said, "Okay." I said, "Well, would would you consider any less for it, or is that about where you need to be?" And and I won't ever forget, he said, uh, he said, well, listen, when people start trying to Jew me down, I start going up. And I said, well, let's not go up. Let's, let's stay there and let me come look at it. <laughs> so I took a buddy of mine. We went down there. Uh, like I said, this place was kind of way out. It was way out to itself. A little marina, nice little place there and everything. But uh, so we get out there and, and look at the truck and, I drive it, and uh, I'd already brought the, the cash with me to buy the truck. So, I mean, I was planning on if everything, you know, unless something was really wrong with it, I was going to buy it that day. And uh, so I get back up there, and uh, basically, I pay the guy three thousand dollars for the truck. And I think he was he was pretty shocked that I was actually buying it for that because. Like I said, now this was back, uh, it's been back several years ago. Uh, so $3,000 even then for a little truck like this. And it, like I said, guys, it didn't look like this. It didn't have these rims on it. didn't have the window tent. didn't have the, the any of the aftermarket stuff. It was This truck was bone stock. It was dirty. It probably hadn't been washed in years. Definitely hadn't been waxed or really taken care of. But... Uh, so yeah, I bought it, three thousand dollars, and uh, get it back home. First thing, I start washing it, and I said, guys, this thing probably hadn't been washed or waxed or really cleaned good in years. So got it washed and waxed. You know, took and got an oil change. I mean, all the maintenance stuff that you do when you buy one. But uh, I was thrilled to get it. Still love it. And like I said, guys, I don't ever, ever plan on selling it. I've got a lot of, well, all my vehicles are older. I think my newest vehicle is, a, which is my daily driver, is a 2003 Park Avenue. So I like, I just like the, these older vehicles. I always like these old square body trucks. Even the, even though I'm not, I'm not a Ford guy per se. I mean, yeah, this, I've got two Fords, a Dodge, and a, and a GM product. Uh, just any of these old square body trucks, I've always enjoyed them. Even a little S10s and stuff like that. But uh, all right, guys, it's just an update video on the truck. Again, 1988 Ford Ranger GT. Fairly rare truck. Like I said, they're getting harder to find. They do pop up from time to time, but they are they are getting a little bit harder to find. Um, if you're on Facebook, you check out uh, the Ranger GT portal. That's just a, a group on Facebook where myself and several other people that own Ranger GTs or, or, or just really like the Ranger GTs are on there and we post photos. And a lot of times when one pops up for sale somewhere, somebody will share it on there. So, uh, yeah, 
get on there if you're on Facebook and check that out. And uh, if you're looking for one, maybe one will pop up. Uh, all right, guys. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you on the next video.